Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial on this beautiful machine, the RC505 Mark II. Today we're making 808 bass lines, and quick note before we start, if you don't have a subwoofer or good headphones that go very low in the frequency response, you won't hear the sounds that we're making in this video, so don't listen to it on a phone or computer speaker or TV or whatever. So the sound is this. So you can see there was a really long one, a big wow, and then a shorter one, which is the more regular bow kind of just hit of an 808. And you can also distort this. So this is done with a low pass filter, a distortion behind it, and an EQ in front of it to just boost the signal in. I'll start with the EQ. This is very simple. I'm just boosting every band my low mid a little bit less and my high a little bit less because I don't really need those and the level is plus 10. That's just to make sure that there is a good loud signal going into the filter. Uh, combined with this we're going to be using the um, I call it a lip kick. Some people call it a loop kick. It's the inhaled kick that's like uh, a short lip roll. It's that one and ooh, that last one kind of hurt. That was weird. Um, on B, going into that, because we have a very loud signal going in, we're going to have a low-pass filter with the resonance set really high and the cutoff set really low, down at 12. And that means solid signal coming in, it's going to really hit that resonance, and we just get one pitch. We don't want this moving, so the rate is on zero. The depth doesn't really matter. And one quick note about the resonance. If you set it down to around 70, you actually just sound like a short bass kick, and it's another really good sound. Because it just lengthens the sound down, so it just sounds like a regular, <clears throat> kind of like a really powerful throat kick. When you get up around the 90s, it starts to sound like a regular 808. And when you get up around 100, it lasts a really long time. That one's really long at 98, 100 is even longer. Um, and you can control the pitch with the cutoff. This is arranged in semitones. I'm at 12. That makes an A1, which is about 50 hertz, which is why you need a subwoofer or really good headphones to hear anything in this video. Um, as you go up or down, you increase by semitones. So 13 would be an A sharp, 14 would be a B, etc. And going down like 10 would be a G. I'm deciding to use an A because I have a thing here written in A. And behind this, I'm also using a distortion. And the type is DS, which stands for distortion. I have some tone up to plus 30 to give more of the distortion on the high end and really make those harmonic. My distortion's set to 50, and I have a 170 mix to make it nice and loud. And that's what gets kind of thing. Um, after you have these three effects, you have room for another one. So you could put another filter over this, you could compress it, you could do whatever you want, distort it again if you want. So this is a fairly versatile sound for what you can actually do with it, which is pretty cool. You just have to be able to know how to do that lip kick thing. And with a regular kick, it doesn't really come through. So you can hear when you do a regular kick with both the distortion and the filter on, you can hear it. But with just the filter on, you get this really weak signal. So to make up for that, if you can't do the lip or loop kick or whatever it's called, you can give this extra boost on the way in. Hell, you can go up to 20 dB plus if you want or like juice the shit out of your low end or something. But I found that using a loop kick is the most reliable way. You might have to play around with some of the specific settings, depending on how powerful your kicks are or what sound you find best to trigger it. So screw around with it a little bit. Um, I'll give you a quick example of how I decided to use this if you need any inspiration. I have a regular kind of hip-hoppy... 
but there isn't a lot of low end. There's just regular kicks. Over this, I have a guitar and a synthesizer. So it's pretty good sounding, pretty rhythmic, but it doesn't have any low end at all. So normally I would do a bass line here, but for this one, I decided to make my uh, pitch here equal to an A, which is why I have it on 12. That's what this is in. And I just repeated the bass kick pattern that we have over here. So I'm just doubling this with big 808s. And it sounds lovely. So that's one way to use it if you need inspiration, but there is a lot of ways and a lot of different genres to use 808s. And with the distortion and the ability to control the pitch, you can get into even some hardcore-ish kind of realms, which could be really fun. You could use it for hip-hop, you could use it for regular EDM, whatever. So play around with it. I hope it helps someone out there. I love every single person watching this video. Bye!